Hey everybody, Carl here. Welcome back to Trails in the Sky. In the last episode, we left the prologue behind. We left Roland. We are now on the East Bose Highway going on new adventures with new dangerous monsters and a city awaiting us, the commercial city of Bose, where we are going to be making our way today. But the road splits. The Nebel Valley is to the north, but that's not where we're going at the moment. I think I just prefer to make a quick pace towards Bose and see if we can't whoa, do a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop right here. Now, I believe there is nothing. No chest along the east Bose Highway, but there should be one along the west side. Whoa. I guess it makes sense if it's a highway. A lot of people pass here, they'd see the treasure chest, they get the treasure chest. Fine, checks out. What's that headed this way? Alright, new bracer with the portrait. Okay. Well, if it isn't Sherazard, how have you been? Oh, fine. I haven't seen you in a while either. What are you up to? As you can see, I'm doing an escort job. I'm sure that you've heard about all the airliners being grounded after the Linda incident, right? Because of that, we have to move all this cargo to the Royal City by ground transport. I see. Well, your efforts are appreciated. So, how about yourself? What are you doing with these youngsters? Don't tell me you're looking into the incident. That was the plan. Why? Do you know something we should be aware of? Well, I think it would be best if you spoke with Lugran about it at the Bose branch. Anyway, I've got to get going. Catch you later. Alright, Grant, you sound like a cool dude. Do, 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 do. First Mr. Ashton, and now him? Everyone keeps hinting at something, but... No one will just come out and say it. I wonder what's up. Well, there must be a good reason for it. We'll probably find our answers at the Bose branch. Agreed. If we do as he suggests and ask Lugran about it, we may just get a clue as to what's going on. Anyway, let's get moving. Let's indeed. Mysterious times are ahead. Political tensions are in the air. Dad's gone missing on the airliner. We're the only ones who can save the day. Look, I would never set foot outside my house. Are you looking? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's mortifying. All right. Good thing there are bracers, huh? All right. One more stretch of highway. We got this. Decided not to confront anything at the moment. I am done with optional fights for at least a little while. I prefer to get there, get to know the people, get to know the shops, because we got lots of new things to buy. And just new vibes all around. Perhaps even a new music track. Uh, really? I mean, I guess they did say it takes half a day to walk. Now we're getting closer to the Ison Roads. And if we have a look at the Ison Roads, this is the road that's going to lead us up towards the Hawken Gate. Yes, that makes sense. It's, we're, we're, it, the, the map's just a little bit off, but yes. But we don't really... That sounds, that sounds scary. So let's just go to Bose instead. Now that we're making such good time on our journey. Half a day? More like half a minute. Let's go. Oh, yes. Capitalism, everyone. We finally made it here. This is the commercial city of Bose, which sits at the heart of the Bose region. Wow, this definitely looks like a city. Of the five major cities in Liberal, this one comes next after the royal city. Compared to Roland, the buildings are all made of stone, seem a lot bigger. Does anyone have any idea what that huge building is over there? That's the Bose Market. It's an indoor marketplace made up of various shops. Food, clothing, sundry goods, furniture, books, and so on. 
You can pretty much buy everything here with the exception of weapons and ornaments. It's not surprising that they call this place a commercial city. Man, I really wish this trip could have been for shopping. Maybe some other time. Let's first stop by the guild and find out what's going on regarding the incident. Oh, alright. Just so you know, the Bracer Guild is just right over there. Just right over there is not very helpful. But, taking a look, this city is quite big. We have a south block and we have a landing port to the north. Now, I think we are going to check out the guild, but I'd kind of like to check out the city. Let's start by going to the restaurant. What are we serving up in... Oh, this oh this is fancy schmancy. We don't got any of this in Roland. I don't think a single bumpkin in Roland has ever seen a piano. Good day to you and welcome to Anteros. Do you have a reservation? Um, nope. Is this a restaurant then? Tis as you say, yes. I am the manager, Lecta. I tend to the restaurant's needs while the owner is away. Herein, the best quality ingredients and servers await you, amounting to the greatest dining experience of your life. I personally guarantee that if you partake of our delicacies, you will emerge full and satisfied. Please, come this way. I will gladly show you to a table. Wow, this guy's got a lot of confidence in his restaurant. And I must admit, it certainly does look like a nice place. <laughs> yeah, but he's a bit pushy, don't you think? I mean, when I see this place, my first thought is, Cha-ching! We'd go broke if we ate here. <laughs> it's not cheap, that's for certain. If one wished to stay for a full course dinner, let's see... It would require the bounty from 30 large monsters, <laughs> at minimum, to gather enough Mira. Yow. Yeah, not for me, thanks. At that price, I'll gladly go street vendor. Deep fried palm, palm on a stick, palms on a blanket. Wait, this universe eats palms? It's messed up. Hey, we're in the best quality ingredients. Alright, let's talk to the guests. Alta. And this flavor hasn't changed one bit. It's as good as ever. I hear the owner of this place changed a few years back, but the quality has certainly hasn't dropped any. If anything, the food's gotten better since then. Oh, well, good to know. Who are you? Shaq? Shaquay? We've begun running out of certain goods here in Bose. And while we may have no means of eliminating the problem, we can at least try to make it better, if only slightly. You're not getting anywhere, mate. Lenore. Welcome, welcome! Here for a good meal? If so, please let me show you to a table. Now, Karen. Army regulations, along with the grounding of the airships, have a definitive effect on business that cannot be ignored. I need to reopen negotiations and get things squared away as soon as possible. For you. My goodness, what a restaurant. It's just as glorious as I'd always hoped it would be. But up until now, we've just been admiring it from afar. Alright, Fanny. Letta. Uh, well, what should I order, I wonder? Ah, oh, you're thinking about your wallet, aren't you? You're on a beautiful date with Fanny. You should enjoy yourself. Who are you? Horus. Hot, 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 hot! Ah, spicy food is just a thing for an old man like myself. Brings back the old appetite, something fierce. I must say, this coriander-infused duck dish really does the trick. I bet I could eat another two of these easy. Is that the merchant from Bose or someone else? Norch. I often vacation with Marianne. We have similar interests and obnoxious amounts of money to spend on them. Though my goal this time was more shopping than food. One can never have too many dinadile wallets or rhinocide or salad bowls after all. I'm glad to see the monster parts are coming to good use. We've come from the capital for food and shopping. The capital is quite lively, but I must admit, this town gives it a run for its money. Alright, I'm getting a vibe for the people, the place. Can we go see the chef? Citron. I am the sommelier here. Is that right? Sommelier. Alright. If you have any questions or concerns regarding wine, I will be more than happy to address them for you. Ah, perfect. This is what the 16-year-olds need to know about. Head Chef Ross. To a chef, each and every day is lived in pursuit of flavor. 
When the flavor stops, it's time to put the kitchen knife down once and for all. One must never be satisfied. Recipes must never stop evolving. Complacency disqualifies you as a chef. A complacent chef is no chef at all, far as I'm concerned. This guy's pretty intense. It's kind of scaring me. Yeah, he has the eyes of a pro. A really skilled, really psycho sort of pro. That's not very nice. Gwen. It's amazing how tenacious the head chef is about his flavors. I'm trying to work on my flavors too. I even stayed in the kitchen all night to perfect a new soup recipe. Well, we'll be back here. I'm fairly sure there's a quest involving ingredients for that lad, but now we know about the Aunt Rose restaurant. Let's get going. Oh, it, the, this music is just bopping. I am bopping. Who are you? Eligia. Hmm, I wonder what I'll buy today. I hope I can find some kind of outfit that I like. <sighs> All right. Who are you, though? Maid. Not this again. Who are you? Young woman. Please, Lila. This is my one and only chance. What are they talking about? Bose Chapel? Dude, we need to see Father... Ho Ho Horstein? Holstein? Um, excuse me. Hmm? You're Father Holstein, right? Oh, ho, ho! Indeed I am. But how may I help you? This is for you. It's a letter from Father Divine in Roland. Hand it over Father Divine's letter. Ho, ho, ho! Is this for me? Thank you very much for delivering this. However, a letter from Father Divine could only mean... Ah, yes. He's come up with a new formula. Eh? Uh, a new formula for what? Oh, ho, ho! Don't tell me you didn't know. Father Divine is a master of medicine, known throughout Liberal for his skills in the healing arts. In fact, he was well known for this even back when he was at the Gransel Cathedral. Really? Even after he took up his new post as a father in Roland, he has continued his research without fail. And when he discovered an effective medicine, he shares his knowledge with the rest of us. We bracers also use the medicine created by Father Divine on a daily basis. So in a way, we're being supported in our work from behind the scenes. I had no idea. It would have been nice if he had at least mentioned it to us. But it's just like him not to, since he never talks about himself. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Father Divine is very strict with himself. Whenever he admonishes someone, he is always admonishing himself as well. This is one attitude I think all young children these days should learn. Although it'd be a bit difficult for me to learn at this ripe age. Ho ho ho! <laughs> yeah, har har har, or whatever. Well, how about we just try to work hard without overreaching ourselves? I appreciate you coming all the way up from Roland to deliver this letter today. Oh, Adios, goddess of the firmament. Please protect these souls as you guide them in their daily lives. Nice. I got paid in prayers. That's the best. You must be tired after having made the trip all the way from Roland today. Oh, Adios, who art in heaven, please bestow thy blessings and thy guidance upon these souls. Nice. What stat buff does that give me, father? Edel. La la la, we're finally here. This day has finally arrived. After my husband is done worshipping here, it's off to the bows markets to buy. Buy! Buy! We did see them at the Roland Cathedral, or uh, Roland Cathedral, the Roland Church too. As we were arriving in Bose, the airliner flights were cancelled. And right in the middle of my pilgrimage too. Cigaro, cigaro. Cigaro, cigaro. Aha, there's always a sister. Sister Rosa, welcome to the Septian Church. Are you here to worship? I'm impressed to see people as young as yourselves concerned with spiritual matters. Aha. Uh -huh. No, nope, I'm going. I'm having a sip of water and I'm going. Intercept this man. You're going nowhere until I know your name and personality. Lucas, welcome to Bose, City of Commerce. This is the most commercially active city in all the kingdom. It's the place where merchants who dream of success gather. And of course, that includes me. You go, Lucas. I believe in you. So, this leads up to the south block. Or should I say down to the south block? 
Same with this, that's Lucas. And then that also leads up to the south block, or we go on to the West Bows Highway. And you were Elegia, wondering what you're gonna buy. The local kids! Harry, one day I'm gonna be a merchant and live in a big mansion. Good luck with that one. If you haven't noticed, not every merchant can live in a big home. Ugh. You just ruined him, Mina. That's just not the reality of things. I told him for his own good. Alright. I feel like I've just had my hopes dashed. Who's this old geezer? Jacob. Bows is nearly, if not just as lively as the royal city. We do a lot of trade with merchants from the Empire. In other words, we're not in short supply of much of anything. Ho ho ho, there's no place like the Bose Marketing Grand Sol, that's for sure. Indeed. The mayor's residence? I mean, I, I'm just gonna show up unannounced. I can do it. I'm a bracer. I'm sorry to say, but the mayor is currently out at the moment. If you have some business with her, could I ask you to come back at a later time? The mayor's out? I don't try- Where- Where's the mayor? Where's the mayor? I wanna have a word with the mayor. All right. No maids I can get emotionally attached to? Aha! That's a weird question, by the way. Sarah. I'd better hurry and get this cleaning done ASAP. Or else Leela's going to get really mad. All right, all right. I'm just going until I find an NPC called Carl. I mean, I imagine there must be a Carl in the trail. <gasps> oh, I remember there's a, there is a Carl in Trails of Cold Steel, at least. But I'm not sure if it's in the original Sky Trilogy. But we'll find out. I remember the exact location of Carl in Trails of Cold Steel. The Frieden Hotel. All right. Maybe there's some exotic visitors. This looks familiar. <laughs> that even looks like Vern over there. So that's his cousin, Burn. Or Barlow, uh, that's just a local accent. That's how they say burn. Uh, welcome. Please enjoy our hotel's atmosphere, which is rich with tradition. They did say a traditional Bose accent. Should people ever have an accent? On the topic of accents, if I ever do a voice, like, it's never my intention to mock anybody. It's just my own poor interpretation of someone, a voice that I feel like I've heard somewhere, you know? And just done poorly. But it is done with love. Maybe they should have a bit of a refined aspect to them. I'm so busy today. I want to hurry and finish all these terrible jobs and then head out on the town. Well, that's not a very good attitude. You're nothing like Lita. No one's going to match up to Lita from Roland's. Alright, we're going back down. Cool. We know the Frieden Hotel by now. The bar! Let's go. This is more... Here we got palms on a stick. Something I can buy. Platina. Hey, welcome. Sit wherever you like. Ah, oh, we're, ca we're real casual in here. I'm a scholar specializing in living beings from days long past. <laughs> That's such a cool sentence to say to someone. And on the subject of peculiar living beings, I encountered the most uniquely swift monster I've ever seen during a recent geological survey. That was along the road in West Bose, if I'm not mistaken. Having never seen such a creature before, I thought to capture it. But it was far too quick for these legs of mine. I'd best get some more exercise in my daily regimen, I surmise. That's so nice. I noticed Ridge, I believe, in the prologue also gave the hint as to where you could find the shiny palm. I didn't pick up on it at the time, but it's a very nice little nod. Who's this? Oh! <gasps> Cheese risotto? How can I not have the cheese risotto? Learned recipe. Mm -mm -mm. Warner. Welcome, welcome. Order up. We've got good cheap food. that will make your belly sing with the latch. All right, pretty good. Mouthful soup. A jaw-dropping, shockingly flavorful soup. Cure some mute. Oh, that's nice. Red tail soup, a spicy soup crammed full of energizing nutrients. I'm gonna have to get myself one of each here. Honestly, my good sir, those are recipes I wanna know. Who are you? Cornelius. Oh, woe is me. How did things get like this? I gave up my whole life for that damn workshop. Uh, who are you? Simon. 
Simon? Th yeah, that's Miss Murano's uh, attendant that I met in Roland. <sighs> Being Miss Murano's attendant is exhausting work. But it's precisely because of the power she wields that she's earned the dubious role of Shadow Mayor, I suppose. I do wonder where Miss Murano is going to be. Shadow Mayor. <laughs> that's grim. International ports? This is probably chaos over here. Everything shut down. Hello, you Alan wannabe. Receptionist Ted. Airliner flights have been cancelled, and there's been no indication as to when they'll resume. I feel extremely bad for all the customers who've been waiting here to say nothing of the other landing ports. No sleazy comments? What is this? Who are you? Berna. I'd planned to take a trip to the Royal City, but the airliner I was supposed to be on hasn't showed up. Well, duh. Did you not read liberal news? Who are you? Norm. We mechanics have been standing by here the whole time as per the company's orders. I wonder how long we'll need to keep waiting like this. Who are you? Alden. He. <laughs> this is the perfect place for taking photos. Come on. Come on, my fair winged airships. Oh, he's, a, he's an enthusiast, you see. With an extra emphasis on the thoo. Now then, oh, it's so big. Everything is bigger in Bose. Put that on a t-shirt. I'd wear it. I just wanted to check over there. Alright, who are you? Hart. Huh? I came here thinking I could catch a flight on an airliner. It doesn't sound like anybody's getting ready for one to come in. Just nobody read the news. Alright, we're going down. Who are you? Lakely. I wonder where the airliner is. What's going on? Again, I'm not gonna repeat myself. I've had 50 NPCs tell me about the airliners being cancelled, so these people are just out of touch, really. With everything, really. That's been everything but the guild checked out, so... Let's go to the market! Time to shop till we drop. Ah, yes. This is bringing back the good vibes. Who are you? Claire, I've been living in Bose my whole life, but this is the first time I've actually come to the market. Where to start? There are goods and stores all over the place. And... <coughs> there's dust everywhere. Really? Who are you? Libro. The book I'm after isn't here. Maybe I should try checking out another shop. Hello, you look like a kindly old lady. Minuets. Good day to you and welcome. I carry everything from antique books to textiles and daily necessities. Man, would you look at all this stuff! Mr. Rhinon's general store has lots of stuff, but this one carries even more than he does. Yeah, it's pretty easy to see exactly why this store is here in the market. I stock a lot of imported goods from the Empire and the Republic, so I'm pretty confident about my selection. Let's check it out. So this is another place where we could buy the Liberal News, and you can buy the Carnelia books so far. This won't always be the case, but for now they're being kind, and you can buy it for a thousand Mira each. But, not to worry. We already got them. Alright, who are you? Gantz. It looks like a girl is running the confectionery shop now. Before was some guy running this place. I wonder what happened to him. You? Katrina. Welcome! How about a fluffy, eggy sponge cake? It's a specialty here at the Bose Market. Wow, this looks so good, Joshua! Yeah, it does have a nice smell to it, doesn't it? Joshua, after you find Dad, let's come here and get one of these to eat together, okay? That's not a bad idea. Really? You'd better not forget about this later on, you hear me? Why do you assume we're gonna find him in the next five minutes? Like, alright, whatever. Let's... Stop by Katrina's Confectionery. She sells seashells by the seashore. No, she actually sells sweet sponge cake. Which I'm gonna buy, and I'm also gonna buy some floral jelly. A refreshing herbal jelly. Best when chilled. We'll buy that too. Ah, yes. Who's the kids? Lyril. Tee hee. This is the first time I've been ever been allowed to go on an errand all by myself. Uh, let's see. Now, what was I supposed to buy? I don't know. You, you, 
you, you uh, irresponsible child. Who are you? Paul. How are you doing today? Is there anything I can help you find? I'll carry brands from the royal city here as well. If you would like, please have a look around. It looks like they sell clothes here. I'm fine. I already like the clothes I'm wearing now. I can also do custom designs or tailor any clothes you'd like. Just keep that in mind if you decide you want something more fashionable than your current, uh, unique outfit. Are you dissing my style? Custom designs. So, this is... <gasps> he has the latest Stregas? That's amazing. I mean, Estelle already has better shoes because we found those shoes. I believe, was were those the Esmela's shoes? Strega J. We definitely want to buy at least one copy. So I am going to buy one copy for Joshua so that he gets some more movements. And the red scarf. Defense plus two. Gaudy neckwear to accent the color. Painfully bright. You know, I'll, I'll buy a red scarf too. Why not? I am... I'm in that kind of mood. Let's equip. Knitted shoes on you. I'm going to swap to the Stregas. And you're going to get a red scarf. Painfully bright. I believe in the second chapter, like, Joshua's look is... Like, the scarf is kind of his look. I mean, it's not quite a scarf in that one, but... Anyways, we're just setting up, foreshadowing his scarf face. Alright. Is it more like a shawl? I don't quite remember. Hello, Mr... Buck. Thanks to the restrictions placed on everything by the army, nothing's gone right. I think about the price of getting things in stock. I feel like my business is gonna dry up. Th this guy's in a rather foul mood. No kidding. Airliner flights have been cancelled, and the Eisen Road has been blockaded off. I'm sure it's not doing wonders for these merchants' businesses either. I made him sound a bit cheerier, but that's alright. What's for sale at Buck's Green Grocery? Flaky potatoes, crisp onions, dude, good combo, dirty carrots, luscious oranges, and ripe apples. Ah, from the famous fruit orchards of the village of Ravenu. It's vivid orange like the setting sun. Ah, it's perfect. Who might you be? Trayton. My pal Buck started raising prices on his goods. But in light of the situation, I guess I can understand why. Although some of his prices seem a bit too high. Alright, Trayton Foods. Oh, he's selling everything. So here we get to some of the premium ingredients, like tricolored rice for 200 Mira, aged miso and vintage wine, both at 300 Mira. Man. But they're used in some dishes, so... Carol. Let's see, now what to do about today's side dish. Should I try making something with meat, or should I try something with fish? It's fun just having so many... Uh, characters to bounce off and I can just do weird voices without having to worry too much. Is that Dorothy? Huh? Dorothy, is that you? Wow, look at all the stuff they're selling here. I'm getting a kink in my neck just turning my head to try and take all of it in. She's so into her surroundings, it looks like she can't even hear you. <laughs> Alright, guess we'll save that for later. Emmy. Let's see, now who's having a sale today? Where's my memo? I know I've got it written down here somewhere. Oh, well, don't want to ask me. Alright, old man, we're almost done at the market here. Spence, can I help you find something? My medicine can take care of almost any kind of ailment. So you sell medicine, huh? There seems to be almost anything one could ever want here in the bows market. That's for sure. The sheer amount of stuff for sale is pretty overwhelming. Indeed. Oh, but I can't... I... You're a fake shop, aren't you? Mycin. Oh, this one's quite a catch. Palm. Tentatively speaking, I'm an employee here at this store. I help out my mother. I'm not playing around, just in case you're wondering. Alright. Good day and welcome! Hey there, you two! Have a look at my goods! I have everything you need! <laughs> what the... It's so loud. My ears, they bleed. Well, this place is alive and bustling like everyone says. I wonder if it's like this all day. It is. 
People from all corners of Laburl gather here to grow their businesses. And their eagerness and seal to succeed is nothing to balk at. Indeed, what do you sell? Hardware? She sells a work helmet. Laundry pole. Uh, paring knives? That is actually an upgrade. Alright, these are also... We would want laundry pole and par par paring knives. Work helmet? Maybe we can get somewhere else? I'm not quite sure at the moment. But it's not a... I'm just gonna buy a work helmet. I'm gonna buy a laundry pole just for collection's sake and new knives for Joshua. Bringing his strength up to 69. Nice. Let's equip you then, boy. Very good. Oh, my nose, ever since Estelle's little thingy in the last one, is, get, is, is bothering me. I need to deal with it. Two sec. All right. You ever have those moments where your nose just gets so itchy? And it's the worst, because I use that. Like, the nose is kind of important to how you sound when you talk a lot. Which I do. Sherizard, she's fine. She's got everything under control. You, though, I'm gonna put a work helmet on you, Estelle, because you were dropped on your head as a child. I don't want it to happen again as an adult. With that, we've completed the rounds. Nice, that's the Bow's Market, everyone. As you can see, there's so much to buy and so much to play with here. But we're going to go explore in the south block a little bit. This is more of the residential area, where we can also go to the new Ansel Path. And we got the Lucier Orbal Factory. Hello. Nigel. So I'll be running the show starting today, huh? Excellent. Now it's time to make some real money. Yeah, All right. Sure. What we got here? Um, he does sell some new stuff. That's nice. So we're moving up in the world in terms of the quartz that we can get. We might be able to actually open up a new slot as well, since we did get... No, that's probably going to be difficult. Alright. That's okay, though. What else? Do you have a wife or something? Who is this? Carrie. I haven't seen my boss around here recently. I wonder if he's gotten sick or something. Ah, maybe. I don't know who your boss is or why you're even telling me this, but it seems like everybody's just kind of venting their stuff. Right, so that goes back to the north block. It's... Dude, I... I'm, I still feel like a country bumpkin. There's just... There's too many buildings. Who are you? Lana. Phew. I wonder if my husband's business is doing well. Well, considering a house like this, it must be. And for your sake, I hope it continues being like that, or it's a street for you. My dad makes clothes and then sells them to the people. He made my clothes too, see? They're great. It wasn't that great. But, no need to be rude to a child. In fact, that's not good. So, we're gonna go in here. Who are you? Modina. That's strange. I would have thought that my husband would be home by now. With my daughter at home now, it seems like we can finally enjoy a meal together as a family for the first time in ages, but... What? Something's going on. Mirano, there she is. Alright, so I guess... Bo's accent is just vaguely British? I come all the way back here to be with the family and father's nowhere to be found. And he's the one who said to come back to Bo's as soon as possible. What's going on? My mother's worried, so maybe I'll just give a call to the place we were staying. That sounds like a quest in the making. Also, you went from like high class to low class, but who can blame poor old Carl? He's just doing his best. That's what he does. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, the music is so good. Who are you, you Elgar wannabe? Both merchants enjoy the freedom of the market system here, but we also have a rule to always keep our words. And for that reason alone, we are very strict about meetings and punctuality. It's certainly been a while since the army clamped down on things. And at this point, because of it, we're definitely going to be in the red this month. Aw, oh, that sucks. Alvel. 
My dad works in the trade business, and our family's been doing the same job for generations. But I don't think I'll cut out to be a merchant. Well, you should follow your own path then. Sorry, I am t- I'm jazzing out too much. All right, arms and guards. This is the proper weapon shop. Good afternoon and welcome. Take a look around and see if there's anything you like. I will. We have stun rods. Dude, that's new. I'll go with that for Estelle. Dual razors, even better. Nice, I'll buy those. Buying the others weren't a waste since we want to collect all weapons. Blitz. Oh no. Oh no, the money. All right, we're gonna need to make more money, I guess. Let's swap out the tin staff with the stun rods. Just more damage, even though it sounds like it would do something way cooler. 80 strength on Joshua. Honestly, pretty good. I could sell them back the weapons that we have though, and that would help a little bit. Since now I have obtained them and they should count in that way. Sell the kunai, sell the powering knives. Oh, sorry. Good. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. I am going to be buying... I'll be buying Blitz for Sherizard. There we go. Pretty much out of money, but that's okay. That's what happens in boasts. That's kind of what you're supposed to do in boasts, you know? Very good. So, with that done, we are looking better in the weapons departments. Now, we stopped by... Did I ever go in here? I think this is the last place. All right. Who are you? Was this a dispute or are you having a lovely conversation? It's hard to say. All you're doing is idling like every other person in this world. Besides us. I wonder if that's a... Because I haven't really thought about it, but any like idle NPC always are moving, but not us. Pretty cool. Kuano. It's important for people to have hobbies in their old age. So I don't see why you have to get so mad about mine. Don't you realize you're just gonna turn into a wrinkled old prune getting angry all the time? <laughs> but that's not what I'm mad about. The thing I'm mad about is the fact that he doesn't have the decency to say one word before he leaves. What are th th there's, there, there's some drama. In this in, in in this air neck of the woods, we must investigate. But that sounds like something for another time. All right, that's Bo's pretty much checked out and just sort of we're just preparing for. I'm scouting. This is a scouting mission, so that when it comes time to check out the Bracer Guild, which is now, we are ready. Let's go to the Bo's Bracer Guild. All right, Lugran. So every sort of branch, like uh, leader or receptionist, will have a portrait. So, hmm. Oh, Sherazard, you arrived a lot sooner than I expected. I appreciate you coming all the way from Roland. It's been a while, hasn't it, Lugran? Did someone tell you that we were coming ahead of time? Yes, I received a call from Aina not that long ago. So that means these two kids with you are Cassius's children. Yes, that's right. Uh, it's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Estelle Bright. And I'm Joshua Bright. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Lugron, and I oversee the Bose branch. Your father and I go way back. Please, just call me Lugron. <laughs> sure. We'll do that. That said, could you give us a quick update on the missing airliner incident? Yes, about that. The Royal Army is still continuing its search. However, with the Army's current restrictions on information, no public updates of the situation have been made. Okay, I guess that can explain why some people are in the dark. And not only has the general public been kept in the dark, but the Guild hasn't heard a word either. Really? Why not? Aren't the army and the guild supposed to be cooperating together? 
Well, that's the way it is on the surface, anyway. But in actuality, there's a lot of opposition between both parties on a number of aspects. So pretty much what you're saying is that it's a bunch of jurisdictional disputes, right? I hate to admit it, but that's the situation. In addition, General Morgan has gotten involved. Did you just say General Morgan? Oh, great. Now it really looks like things are going to be a pain. General Morgan? Who's that? He's famous for repelling the Imperial Army's invasion ten years ago. You should have read about him in the history books. <laughs> Amazingly enough, I don't recall the name. So what's the big... Oh, sorry. He's at, she's at what's the big deal with this guy anyway. From what I've heard, he's not the biggest fan of the Bracer Guild. Hates Bracers, in fact. It seems he even makes it a point to routinely assert that there's no need for a Bracer Guild. Sounds like a real whack job to me. So what you're saying is that we're not getting any information because of this general? It's not really important at the moment. What really matters is that bracers are being prohibited from entering the regions they are investigating. And because of that, it's causing conflicts with our other work. But we just came all the way here from Roland. If that's the way it's gonna be, then it's time to duel it out with this general to decide who gets to investigate this incident. You're talking like a crazy person, Estelle. Keep your cool, Bracer. There are other ways. Such as... The request we just received from the mayor concerning the incident. She has asked that we conduct an investigation from the guild side, separate from the army. Well, that's encouraging news. If it's an official request from the mayor, it'll be a great pretext for us to conduct our own investigation. I see. Well, isn't this perfect timing? Lugran will accept the mayor's request. That sounds fine by me. But before you go, you two are junior bracers, right? Yeah, why? Junior bracers, so to speak, are members in training registered at various branches. In short, their performance is monitored by the branch where they're currently registered. And right now, for you two, that would be Roland. So what you're trying to say is that... We have to change our registration if we want to accept jobs here, right? You've got it. Ah. Bureaucracy. My favorite. Here. All you need to do is sign on these forms to transfer your registration. Uh, sure. Our names go here, and... Estelle and Joshua filled out the registration transfer forms. Alright, looks like everything's in order. Junior Bracers, Estelle and Joshua, as of this day at 3.20pm, your registration at the Bowes Branch has been approved. This means that you are now members of the Bowes Branch. <laughs> Congratulations! So, you know... Once you become a senior bracer, you can do any job without being registered to a particular branch. But on the flip side, your duties and responsibilities increase as well. Understood. So pretty much we're still newbies? Well, it looks like now I'll be able to entrust you with the mayor's request. The mayor's residence is near the west gate. You should go there and talk with her directly. We'll do that. Understood. Bum, 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 bum. But, always gotta check the notice boards. Ravenu Monster, Elder Ryzen. A ferocious monster has been sighted along the trail behind Ravenu Village. It must be sought out and exterminated ASAP. Alright. Ingredient Seeker, Gwen. I am in a bind right now as I seem to be lacking a certain cooking ingredient I regularly use for practice. Please bring tender poultry times five to me. Gwen at the Antaros restaurants. We might have that. Then again, we didn't kill that many birds, Mars sparrows. Were they the ones that dropped the tender poultry? East Bow's monster, Bracer Guild. A ferocious monster known as a King Scorpion has been spotted roving the East Bow's highway. Cool. We can deal with that, no problem. I'll leave the mayor's request up to you then. The mayor's residence is near the west gate of town. If you can't find it, just try asking around. All right. 
this is so much bigger than ours. I'm just... Everything's bigger in Bose. Again. Please put that on the t-shirt. I would pay real Mira to get it. Now. Let us go to our inventory. The best place to be. What's the tender, tender poultry situation like here? Six! It's perfect! Straight to the restaurant. I know where the restaurant is. I don't need the map. It's here. Aha! Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I already know where Gwen is. Yes, can I help you? Hello! We're here with the Bracer Guild, and we have a delivery. Hand it over tender poultry times five. Oh, thank you so much for going to all the trouble. I'm sure you must have been busy with your other work. It was no problem at all. Helping those in need is what our job as bracers is all about. Yes, it's just like Estelle said. And now with the airliners at a standstill, it's a difficult time for all of us. I really appreciate you saying that. But the little bit of mirror I'm paying just doesn't seem like enough. Oh, I know. Please let me do this for you too. Huh? Do what? I'll teach you how to make my specialty omelettes. You mean the ones served here at Antero's? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Is it okay for you to be giving out your recipes like that? Don't worry, it's not a problem. Even if you make a dish just like the recipe says, it doesn't mean that you'll get the same taste. Sounds like you've got a lot of confidence in your cooking. Remember, it's not about whether you're good or bad. It's like the relationship between a musician and a sheet of music. Depending on the person, the song will sound different, even though the music's exactly the same. That's pretty profound. A recipe, in the end, is nothing more than a framework to make something delicious. By only following the rules, you'd be surprised at how many different ways the end flavor turns out. Learn the Burl Omelette Recipe. Score! We'll have to give this a try later on. Uh, Estelle, now this is just a little pre-cooking advice, so don't take it the wrong way. But please read the recipe before you try it. How rude! What are you trying to say? That I'm the worst cook ever? Now make sure you measure how much seasoning you put in. A pinch of salt doesn't mean that you should drop a fistful in there, you know? I'll show you a fistful. Well, following the setup of any recipe is important, but enjoying what you cook comes first. Surprisingly, that's probably the best framework for any recipe. <laughs> See? Now that's what I'm talking about. I totally agree. And thanks for the new recipe. My pleasure. Come and enjoy a bite to eat here every once in a while, too. Ingredient seeker complete. I will, Gwen. You're the best. The burl omelette recipe has been gotten. What a good start we have. Let's consult our book. Le Bur uh, Roland's all freaking done. I suppose we can turn in the quest over here. That would make the most sense. Letter carrier done. Ingredient seeker done. Nice. Good work. Looks like you managed to achieve your objective. Come back again if you have anything else to report. All right, Legrand. It actually really helps giving them an accent, even if it's not good. It's just something to differentiate them, and that's... That's nice, because that means that when I come back to the other characters, there's something... ...distinct there. Nice! Roland is now completely done. Bose. Missing airliner. Mayor's house. We can do that. Then there's the revenue village monster and the east Bose monster. I think all signs point to the mayor's residence. They better be in. Wow, now isn't this a gorgeous place? Check out that crazy expensive looking chandelier! Calm down, Estelle. It looks like this is the mayor's place, alright. Now I just wonder if she's home. Oh, do we have visitors? Welcome to the Bose Mayor's residence. May I ask who you are, please? We're with the Bracer Guilds. The mayor made a request to the guilds, and we've come here to inquire about the details. Well, I've heard from the mayor that we would be expecting you. However, I am sorry to inform you that the mayor is currently out at the moment. 
She's gone to worship at the chapel. When do you expect her to be back, sir? Well, let me see. Actually, I would imagine her to be making a return any moment now. Well, we're kind of in a hurry to meet her. Do you think it would be all right to call on her at the chapel? Well, I don't wish to inconvenience you. Don't worry, it would probably save the both of us some trouble. But if you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? Like the typical wealthy person? Big hat with feathers in it? Dripping gemstones from every pore? Feathers? Gemstones from every... What? <laughs> um, how colorful, but quite off the mark, I assure you. How would I describe her? Should I say she looks splendid, or should I say beautifully mature? If she could just find the right man, then I could retire in peace. Huh? Uh, never mind. I was just thinking out loud. Ah, yes, this may help. The mayor has a maid accompanying her. That might be the easiest way to find her. The mayor's being accompanied by a maid, huh? That sounds easy enough to find in a crowd of people. Let's hurry and head over to the chapel. We've already seen her. Let's freaking go. Ba -ba -da -din. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum, bum. Oh, they've gone inside. All right. Oh, there you are. You're the maid we've been looking for. Right. You're important enough to have a portrait. Lila. And you are? Estelle, that wasn't very polite. My apologies. We're with the Bracer Guild. We're looking for the mayor so we can confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh, I see. Please let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Lila. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So where's the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties. Huh? I'm sure she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the markets. She took off after telling me to pray for her, too. <laughs> I don't know how I should say this, but the mayor seems like she's quite a unique personality. <laughs> well, doesn't she sound interesting? Even if she weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued. There's no doubt she's a capable person. Although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at a residence? I will let her know you're there. Um, I don't know how I feel about going back there empty-handed. Would it be alright if we came along with you instead? Come with me to the meet the mayor? Well, I guess it's okay. Let's make our way over to the Bose Market, then. <gasps> we got Lila on the team. <laughs> I just love the crazy circling. All right. Mayor Quest, let's go. You're, you're coming with me. Let's go slay monsters. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the Bose Market. Wow. This place really is huge. I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stand out in the crowd, so I'm sure you'll find her right away. Oh, just as I thought. Young woman. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up. You're not fit to be merchants in Bose. Buck. But, ma'am... We were just thinking about how to increase sales for the Bose market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you. If it were other products, it would be a different story. But making undue profits on necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original prices at once. Uh, all right. We'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt your passion for the Bose market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is the established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants in both. Yes, ma'am. We'll do our best. Wow. Whew. Madam. 
Lila, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job as always. But never mind that, these people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem is... Could you be the bracers I requested? Yep, that's us, but... So does that mean that you're... <laughs> Forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Maybell. I'm the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bose region. Alright, quite the mayor, huh? T this restaurant looks super expensive. Are we really going to have a meeting here? I often use this place for business meetings. The food is quite good too. I tell you what though, I'd heard the mayor of Abose was a woman. But I never imagined you would be this young. Based on looks alone, I would guess that you're only four or five years older than me. Actually, I still feel like I am nothing more than an unworthy successor to my father. My late father was the previous mayor, and all I did was inherit the rights to the Bose market and the political foundation which he set up. That's a uh, rather unvarnished self-evaluation if I've ever heard one. After all, I'm just a daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting high hat about that. But anyway, would it be alright to go over the details of my request with you again? Sure, that'd be fine. Well, what I would like to ask that you do is investigate the disappearance of the missing airship and bring closure to the incident. I am of the opinion that bracers would bring about much more desirable results concerning this incident than the army is currently producing. The reason being, we're not fighting a war. We're trying to find answers and solve a mystery. Well, I for one would be honored. But don't you think that you're overrating us just a bit? Uh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the Bose airspace as a no-fly zone, business is gonna suffer. And just when business had been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration too. I see. So this is an economic appeal, right? Yes, and it's something which I can't trust to be left up to the army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept my requests for our, your help in the matter? Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident. And we'd like to accept the job, but... The army has actively been trying to exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So, uh... I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the army who's running the show? Excluding bracers, huh? This must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man has disliked braces from the beginning. So you know who the General is, Mayor Maybell? He was a friend of my late father's. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So, I may just be able to do something for you. Meaning... Lila. Yes, madam. Lila produced a sheet of letter paper and a fountain pen from her pocket and handed them to Mayor Mabel. Hmm. Hmm. I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take these with you. Mayor Mabel's letter. Oh yeah. What's the letter for? It's a letter of request to General Morgan. It is to inform him of my request for information about the incident as the official responsible for the region. I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. I see. I wonder if that bracer-hating general will even meet with us at all. I think it would be a pretty safe bet, as long as you hide your identities. You would probably be best served by saying that you are messengers for the mayor. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Feels like we're lying or something. It's not lying. We just not be telling him everything. Since this is a time-sensitive situation, I think we should be practical about it. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, 
Where do we need to go to meet General Morgan? There's a fort called the Harkin Gate on the international border to the north of Bose. You should be able to find the general there. Alright. Alright, everyone. I'm counting on you. You just leave everything to us. If we found out anything, we'll come and let you know. I'll be looking forward to some good news. Goodbye, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Alright. You two girls, have fun. We're going on an adventure. Alright, let's get going, shall we? The Hawking Gate is at the end of the Eisen Road, to the north of the East Bose Highway. In short, we need to head out the East Gate and then turn north thereafter, right? Alrighty then, Hawking Gate, here we come. Border to the Empire, exciting times ahead. Well, everyone... I think this is a wonderful place to conclude our first proper Bose episodes. We got to know the city, the people, had chats with some of them, like her name is... El Eligia? Yes, there we go. She's gonna treat herself to a new dress. You do that. Have they updated their dialogue? Hey, Mabel might be young, but she's quite the businesswoman. She's one of us who pride ourselves. <laughs> oh, 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 and did I mention that she's quite the eye catcher too? Alright. Good to know. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. It's been a wonderful time here in Bose, and I'm looking forward to exploring it even further. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Carl, and this has been Trails to Completion.